The valedictory address is traditionally prepared and presented by a member of the graduating class. Last month, the graduates nominated the student whom they wanted to represent them this evening. Mr. Muzi will introduce our 2023 valedictorian. Thank you. 
yourself a pat on the back because even though most of your parents already expected this of you, these were no easy four years. It feels like just yesterday, we were timid little freshmen, struggling to open up our lockers and adjusting to this big, scary new place called high school. In a span of 1,460 days, we've come so far in our lives, except for the fact that most of you still struggle to open your lockers. <laughs> We formed a close community with one another and learned so many life lessons in and within the school lessons. Lessons of organization, of collaboration, of respect. You don't have to learn the school section to work hard. But before I continue, I want to take a moment to say two very important words that even as Canadians, we have to say more often. Thank you. Thank you, Adam Saab. For trying your best to ensure that the school runs flawlessly. Thank you, caretakers, for ensuring boss is a spotless place to live. Thank you, parents, guardians, and families, for enduring our meltdowns over school assignments, our existential crises when we couldn't sign our future careers, and for helping us get supplies for a project the night before, night before it was due. Thank you, teachers, for going beyond the curriculum, teaching us how to study to work together, to present, and for empowering us with the knowledge of Heidi Sokotoa and writing responses of our English novels and making connections to them, which will undoubtedly prepare us for the new world. <laughs> Thank you to our friends for powering through late night study sessions, for lending us their research right before a test, and for making us laugh when everything seemed pink. And lastly, thank you to all the websites that greatly guided our learning <laughs> program. So once again, thank you. But we absolutely could not have made it here today without ourselves. Through all the fun times we shared together, from our gladness to the winter assembly, to all the multicultural songs we danced to at prom. We've spent hours upon hours working and studying to get to where we are today. So much so, in fact, that we start to question whether we live at school and go home only to eat, sleep, and study some more. All those late nights that we stayed up to study for a test, practice for a presentation, or finish an assignment, they didn't go to waste. Part of growing up and becoming an adult means working hard for what you want. And now, at this point, I want to only to go party or maybe go watch the Spider-Man movie after the ceremony, if you haven't already. But the most important thing is, we know how to work for our goals, no matter what they may be. Since English is definitely everyone's favorite subject, let me quote famous humorist and writer Mark Twain, who said, The dictionary is the only place where success comes before work. Now, no matter where you may go after our time here together at Burrow, just know one thing. Whenever you got a quote in your English essay, it has to lead back to the thesis. <laughs> if success can never come before work, like Mark Twain said, then don't ever expect to be successful if you've never put in the work for it. All that being said, you are sitting here tonight with your fellow graduates, some of whom will turn out to be your lifelong friends. But the only reason you are sitting here tonight is because you worked hard enough to get your 40 community involvement hours, to get your 30 required course credits, your English literacy requirements, and your well-deserved high school diploma. We have survived two very odd years in COVID, where we learned not only more about ourselves, but also how to face our favorite take-home tests, which we definitely need more of this year. <laughs> It has been my honor and my privilege to get to know you over these last four but short years, and even more so to represent you as a valedictorian, because you all are a fantastic group of people who have worked hard and persevered. As we part ways, I want to wish each and every one of you the best of luck in your future, and I hope you look back at your time here at Burrow with a smile. Thank you.
ready because you all love throwing things. <laughs> Lavneen, we invite you to take this opportunity to take a photo with a valedictorian commemorative plaque which is displayed in the school. Thank you to Lavneen and Mr. Muthi.